you've caught me blowing bubbles. Today, I would like to tell you about a man skilled in all ways of contending, Rudolf Fischer. Over the course of his life, he became a medical doctor, radiologist, x-ray technician, renowned public speaker, music arranger, and author of numerous short stories and several novels. His friend, acclaimed author Langston Hughes, said that he was often stunned into silence by Rudolf's deep, penetrating comments. Rudolf Fischer was born in Washington, D.C., May 9, 1897, the son of a Baptist preacher. Throughout his life, Rudolf excelled in school. At Brown University, he majored in both English and biology. Uh, then He then went on to Howard Medical School. There, in his last year, he put out his short, first short story, City of Refuge, where the reader can see how Rudolf fell in love with Harlem. As they read one of the main characters' experiences, Rudolf experiences. Rudolf Fischer continued to grow adept in the fields of science and art. In 1925 and 1927, he put out two scientific papers, and in 1927, he became the superintendent at the International Hospital in Harlem and established his X-ray laboratory in New York City. Rudolf Fischer's stories look at the complexity of life in Harlem in an insightful and funny way. When he writes, you feel like you're inside the story. Take this passage from the Halls of Jericho, describing a bar with two long rooms. There were no pretenses about these two rooms. One was a pool room, its stolid, green-covered tables extending from front to back in a long, squat row. The other was a saloon with a mahogany bar counter, a great wall mirror, a shining footrail, and brass spittoons. In the saloon, you could get any drink you had the courage and cash enough to ask for. And uh, in the pool room, you could play for any stake and use any language you had the ingenuity to devise. Rudolf also painstakingly recreated the sound of the dialects found in Harlem in his stories, like in this example where the characters Jinx and Bubber Brown are arguing. Huh, discredited Jinx. You wouldn't go out of, out of your, your way for, to fight for your own damn self, and you far from addicted. Wouldn't becomes wooden. Of becomes uh. Your becomes yo and ye. And for becomes f. I should also mention that the term dicty describes a high-class black person. Rudolph's humor can be seen right after that in Bubber Brown's response. Right, cheerfully agreed Bubber. I'm far from a dicty, no lie, but I ain't so far from a rat. Jinx mix, missed the point, the meaning of this, so Bubber sidled up close to him and drove it home. Fact, I'm right next to one. Alas, uh, Rudolf Fischer died at the young age of 37 from cancer in his intestines. It was most likely from the radiation from his own x-ray machines. Had he lived longer, who can say what he could have achieved?